Hey there, Radio Face here, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley, the last Saturday of spring in year one. And it should be a sunny day if I remember correctly, and it is Emily's birthday, and I have the perfect gift for her. I got it in the mines, I think two days ago, and it it's something that she loves, it's Topaz. I think her sister told me about it. Ah, good morning. Let's see what the weather tomorrow, the last day, will be. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day, so a good end to spring tomorrow. Fortune teller, what's up, Wellwick? Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we've got a letter, but first I'm going to... Well, uh, I have to pick up my watering can. Top secret. Here's the recipe for my famous blueberry tart. Don't tell anyone. I'm giving it to you because we are such good friends. Pierre. New cooking recipe. Blueberry tart. Thank you, Pierre. You really appreciated getting a birthday present. I'm glad I could make your day, man. I wonder if I can pick up my pickaxe today. That would be nice. Hello, Maxwell. Well, enjoy picking up that sunlight, buddy. Ah, another beautiful harvest. Look at this. Uh, I wonder if I'll be able... I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more strawberries, but I'm going to water them anyway. Just kind of wishful thinking. The bean sprouts, I'm actually not going to be able to get any more harvest. I think it's four days in between, if I recall correctly. Let me see what the seeds say. Hmm. Yields multiple beans per harvest grows on... Oh, it doesn't tell you. I think it's four days, though, so there's no point in watering them. They're not going to produce again. The strawberries, maybe, but I don't think so, to be honest. Um, hmm. I'll keep the green beans since they don't sell for much and I'd rather pickle them. Uh, yeah, other than that, I'm just gonna sell everything to Pierre and make some money. Uh, I need to pick up that topaz for Emily, though. It's her birthday. Take the geodes in case Clint can, uh crack them open for me because that would be awesome i want to start thinking about maybe rearranging our farm how much does emily like us by the way Haley, we have two stars emily we have two stars okay fair enough any good forage for the almost end of the season no okay bye bye bunny hope i didn't startle you too badly I wonder if Emily and Haley like me enough for me to go into their house so early in the morning. I mean, they may, la may not like me very much afterwards. But here, I'll take care of some of the weeds for them and I'll search through their garbage. Opens 9 a.m. Hmm. Fair enough. I'll just take a quick stroll down to the beach then, I guess. Not sure what else to do at the moment. I have so much free time now that I can't really water anything. I'm kind of sad that the season's almost over. It's gonna be a long time before we see spring again after tomorrow. Mm. Oops, wrong one. And another lost book. Cool. We found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Awesome. Now let me go bother Emily real quick. Give her her birthday present bright and early. Let her know that the first thing I was thinking of today was her and that I want her to have a great day. 
Hey, Sam. As I get distracted and talk to someone else. Mm, I just remembered that I was me to do something, but I forgot. This happens to me all the time. Same. You and I are like brother. Oh, hello. Ugh, I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. <laughs> this sister's fighting. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of work in this house, and you know it. So. Oh, it's that new farm boy. Hey, Haley. Are you arguing with your sister about chores on her birthday, Haley? Have some tact. He has a name, you know. Thank you, Emily. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. Depends. Uh, I'm really sorry to involve you in this radio phase. Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned them last week. Stop whining and just clean it. Haley, why not have this be your one weekly job? Emily, take the high road and do it this time. No, you... Haley needs to grow up, and I'm not going to be like a jerk about it, but I mean... Come on, have a little bit of perspective on life. It's not that big a deal. Just clean under the cushions. You're not cleaning the floors. You're not cooking. You're not dusting. You're not cleaning the bathroom, wherever it is. Just... Just, just relax, okay? And it's her birthday. Be nice. Uh... Alright, you win. I guess this can be my job every week. Then there won't be any reason to argue over it. See? It's not that unreasonable. Thanks, Radio Face. That was a great solution. Glad I could help. Happy birthday, by the way, Emily. I hope you did not teleport out. Hey, happy birthday. Uh, no. Here you go. It's a bolt of blue cloth. There's pieces cut out of it and little embroidered patterns along the fringe. No, it's not. It's Topaz. Birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Four hearts. Thank you. I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth. And it's such a long trip to the city. That's unfortunate. Maybe one day I'll be able to give you some, uh... Some, uh... Homemade cloth. I, I'm I'm having a brain fart at the moment. I'm feeling an urge to go shopping. Ugh, I wish there was a mall here. Hey, you and your sister can make a trip out to like a shopping center in another town, and she can pick up a bunch of cloth. You can get in your little shopping fix. You guys will, you know, talk and make peace after having fought this morning. And it's her birthday. You guys could watch a movie, make a day of it. You've got plenty of time. Okay. I wonder, can I get another Uh... I was just about to say, like, if I walked out and back in, could I get another cutscene? But, uh, here's another one. Uh, another beautiful day in Pelican Town. Indeed. Some jamming music. Oh! Those are some pretty birds. My friends! Hmm? Boom! That that hurt. Poor guy. Oh no, you poor thing. Take him to Harvey. Your wing's broken. I mean, he's a people doctor, but he, you know, probably better at the, or maybe Marnie? I don't know. Oh, you're a bit different than the others, aren't you? Just like me. Do you also do? Is this why, like, your house can't have sliding glass doors, Emily? You'll just break your arm? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll nurse you back to health, little one. Everything will be alright. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Emily took the injured parrot into her home and bandaged the wing. He's all set up in her room, but as a token of respect, she didn't give the bird a name. Cool, so you're just gonna you're gonna set him free? Another cutscene? Darn. <laughs> I was hoping maybe I could roll a third one out. Oh look, there he is. That's so cool. Yeah, what a day. Ah. Hey Vincent, don't look so sad, buddy. Dad's coming back soon. 
I hope he brings me some toys. I hope you do more than ask him for toys when he shows up, dude. This is such a small town, you can't avoid meeting everyone. I wasn't. I wonder what it's like to live in the city. Do you want to avoid people? Hey, Vincent. What? I didn't hear you. I'm busy thinking about something. What do you want? Man, you have no manners. Ah, dang. Ah. Hey, Abigail. The fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. Yeah, it is. Where are the frogs will make an appearance soon? Maybe. Let me go say hello to your mother. Hey, Caroline. Good morning. Is it just me or does Abigail have an unhealthy interest in doom and gloom? You always say that when she's talking about how awesome the mountain air is. Maybe I'm just too old to understand. I don't think you're too old to understand. I think you just don't understand in general. I mean, you're way off and I don't think that has anything to do with being old. I wish you were selling summer seeds already. I would love to buy them. Ooh. I'll buy some wallpaper. That looks pretty. Hmm. Cool. Almost 3,000 G. Nice. Let's go to... Gun... Not Gunther. To Clint. There we go. I almost got his name wrong. Well, I did get his name wrong, but I caught myself. Sorry. I'm just... I make mistakes too, okay? Clint, have you finished upgrading my axe per chance? Thank you. You received a copper axe. Let's process some geodes. Nice. Ooh. Slate. Hmm. I could upgrade my watering can, but no, I, I need the money for seeds for next year. I, I can't just lay down another two grand like that. That That's too expensive. Now I have a reason to go see Gunther. Haha. -ha. My, my brain was foreshadowing. And even I didn't catch it. Hello, Gunther. I would like to give you some slate. Which I will place over here. No, no, don't click on that. I, I click on OK and it picks that up. Let me read this new book. An old farmer's journal. Oh, I hope he wasn't buried somewhere here. I've been here for a year now and I've started to make friends with the local townspeople. It sure feels great. And they're sending me gifts and secret family recipes in the mail too. That's really helpful. It took you a year? I haven't even finished a season in there if they've been doing that. Chump. Hmm. I'm so tempted to try out this copper axe now. <sighs> yeah, let's go open up that way. Yeah, that'll be a good end to the season. Hey Shane, what's up buddy? I rented my room for Marty at a really good price. It's small, but I can't complain. That's cool, man. Hmm. Am I able to go into Leah's house? Hey, Willie. Hey, Leah. Oh, another cutscene. Boy, this is going to be cutscene day. Oh, hi, Radio Face. Come in. Come in. Hey, Leah. I see you're making a squiggle over there. I'm just working on this sculpture here. I I already commented on that. Come here, watch this. Uh And I got some juicy lips. Look at those that come through my beard. See that? I'm revealing the essence of the wood. Uh once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. Thank you, Shrek. Mm-hmm. May I have a kiss, creepy? <laughs> I actually prefer the look of raw, unadulterated wood. The same with people. I think it's the same with people. What? Oh, yeah, that's absolutely right. 
I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. Sounds like a great vacation. I knew I'd come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. It's also just a nice place. Although I have to admit, it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. Everybody here complains about money. Harvey complains about money. Pierre complains about money. You complain about money. Clint complains about money. Mayor complains about taxes. What is wrong with the economy here? Seriously. Uh, why don't you sell your art on the internet? Why don't you have an art show in town? Have an art show in town. I mean, the townspeople like you and your friends, so they'll go and they'll give you their opinions. And I mean, that's going to be way more meaningful to you than people like strangers. And you might be able to lure some people into the town to help other people out since everyone complains about money. Hmm, interesting. I guess that could set the wheels in motion making Pelican Town a true art destination. Among other things. What if no one likes my sculptures? I'd be crushed. I, I can understand that, but you still gotta try. I'll have to think about it. Well, thanks for stopping by, Radio Face. You're welcome. Oop, two mice. Double mouse. Can I get another? No. Hello. An art show for the whole village. That's a bold idea, Radio Face. Thank you. Hello, Willy. If the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop's stock. I get the hint, but there's uh, there's a lot of stuff to do here, Willy, okay? Fourth cuts. Shane! You teleported. Shane? Huge chair. Oh dear. Hey, I let myself in like I normally do. Yo, Shane, you were ready to go out part. Oh. Radio Face, can you do something? He's out cold. I'm not gonna draw on him if that's what you're gonna ask. I mean, I'll help him into bed. Turn him on his side, but I'm not gonna mark his face, Marnie. I see that evil smile you have. Ugh. From three beers? <laughs> Man, I am a jerk. Wow. Oh, you combed your hair. Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is mope around your room and drink beer. Mm. Mm. You wouldn't understand. I'm worried. Oh no, don't come in here, Jazz. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? Plan. Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. Whoa. Uh. That could go two different ways, and I don't think I like either of those, Shane. Don't lecture him either. Like, you can't. Chastising him isn't going to make him feel any better right now. Right now, he's going to be on the defensive. He wants the easiest way out. What? Hmm. Jazz. Can you see what you did? Sorry. No, don't beat yourself up about it. It's all right. You made a mistake. Looking for supplies? No, just... Man, that was dark. Hmm. A lot of animals. Seven of them. Hmm. That was... Man, my buddy is not doing well. Hmm. That's a rough one. I don't know how to handle that. Chastising him is not the way to do it, though. Because then you're just going to make him feel worse when he's already feeling really bad. I mean, what he needs is, you know, maybe some comfort and some time just to think. Let's clear this up. Your axe isn't... Oh, it's still not strong enough? I really thought it would be. Uh... Does that mean I can't break those stumps on my farm? <sighs> Dang it. I have to upgrade it further before I can. Hmm. Oh, I can get these. Good. Nice. I can finally at least clear away these stumps. 
really bothers me about Shane. I mean, what do you, what is the best way to approach that? Hmm. Yeah, Stardew Valley got really serious. I'm sorry. I was expecting a much more lighthearted day today. And the plus side, we're leaving a checkerboard behind on our uh, plot of grass. We're collecting a bunch of hardwood, actually. Oh. Something needed. Ten. I can complete another bundle. This is amazing. Man, what a day. Holy cow. So much. All at once. I can't get rid of you yet, but I can get rid of you. Hmm. What is dropping in the water? Weird. Oh, I can't stop thinking about that thing with Shane. That I feel so bad, Dan. Hmm. Hmm. Dang. Hey, Jazz. How are you doing? You smell like grass. I'm glad that you're you're feeling better. I guess. Um, I'm sorry about what you saw earlier. Don't worry. I'm on it. I'll figure something out, I promise. Hey, Maru. Just chilling by the community center? Do you know my dad, Demetrius? He's a scientist. I have a lot of fun helping him out in the laboratory. You're very proud of him, aren't you? You should be. I think it was in the craft room? Is this the craft room? Hmm. Yes. Boom. Bundle complete. A kiln! I can make more charcoal! Ooh, what are you guys doing now? Hmm. Bulletin board. What is on that? Hmm. So much stuff today. It's a little overwhelming. Chef's bundle, maple syrup, fiddlehead fern, truffle, fried egg, maki roll, poppy. Dye bundle. Oh, the sea urchin. Mm. Field research. I sold my chub. Mm. Enchanter's bundle. Okay. Otter bundle. Hmm. Cool. A charcoal kiln. This is wonderful. Hmm. Wow, I didn't realize I have like no energy at the moment. Hmm. Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? Indeed. I love the fresh air of the mountains. Me too. Let's see, if compounds in the rhizosphere contain sufficient levels of carbon-13, then- Oh, sorry, I was pondering some data, and I didn't notice you there. You need anything? I just wanted to say hello. You didn't have to be rude about that. It is what it is, I guess. Is Linus in? Wouldn't mind say, saying hello to him. Hey, Linus. You like some coral? You can't eat it, but I don't know. A gift. How nice. You're welcome. Two hearts. I'm happy by myself, you know. I don't need new friends. I'll, I'll go away then. I'm, I'm sorry, Linus. And I'm sorry for scaring you, Bunny Rabbit. I almost missed you. I'm gonna have to eat these field snacks. I mean, there's so much time left and I've got my axe. 
my newly upgraded axe, I'm going to go just obliterate the trees on my farm right now. Or at least try to, I guess. Hmm. Ah, this is nice. I can, can make charcoal now. Hmm. Oh, I'll do it over here. Why not? And strawberry jam. Uh, drop you off. Uh, I think it was 20 wood per. Uh, not you. Yes, another strawberry. And we'll go here, we will sell the strawberry jelly. We will go here and we'll put some wood in. Oh, it's 10. Okay, my bad. And let's get to doing some more cleanup on the farm. Why not? I mean, I've got the newly upgraded axe. The more open the farm is, the easier it will be for me to better organize it. Hmm. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that used to be ten, I think. One, two, three, four. And that used to be five. So. I'm able to take care of these with 80% of the original number of swings. Which is a pretty good boost, if you think about it. That means I don't use as much energy per tree or as much time. Still enough. Uh, I forgot to have Clint open a geo. Oh no, I actually, I think I just picked this up recently. Okay, that'll be the last possible harvest for the season if I get anything out of it. Some more charcoal, so just keep that going for now, I guess. Put you guys away. No, keep you. Put you away. You guys go up into the farm supply chest. And I've got some new wallpaper to lay down. I wonder how it's going to look. Oh, I like it. Well, Maxwell will be in. We're going to take an early night, although we are a bit exhausted. Let's see how that jelly did, or jam. Good night, everybody. Level 5 foraging. Forester. Wood worth 50% more. Gatherer. Chance for double harvest of forage items. Yeah, I want that double harvest. No, 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 no competition. 290? Whoa. That was nice. Oh, man. What a day. What a day. Wow. I feel so terrible about that thing with Shane. Uh, well, let me know what you think in the comments. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, feel free to subscribe. I hope that you had a great day and I hope that this video helped make that day a little better, even though it's a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a rough video to be honest. Anyways, I hope that the rest of your day goes pretty awesome too. Bye-bye now.